Hello everyone! Welcome to the stream. For those of you on YouTube, welcome to the video. I am Lorema Serre, and today we have a new game to introduce, and it's called Potion Craft. I have to thank um, someone for our community for recommending this to me. Josh, thank you so much. I'm kind of going into this blind. I remember I watched someone do a I think an initial impression of this, but it's been a long time and I don't remember much of it. So it's going to be new for you and new for me. Let's see what the story has for us today. Aha, the story begins. I like it already. You're a novice alchemist wandering the world in search of your destiny. After a long journey, you have finally found a place to ply your trade. found an old abandoned house on the edge of town. Yeah, it's in bad shape. Doesn't even have a door. Judging by the alchemy equipment and garden, the former owner seemed to have practiced alchemy. Apparently a wizard used to live here, but the layer of dust and the condition of the house suggest that it has been empty for a long time. You decide to turn the house into a potion shop. After several days of cleaning and preparing, the shop is ready for its first customers. And it has a door. <laughs> That's always important. Doors and windows. Very important. It's time to remember your alchemy skills and start this new life in the new town. I have no alchemy skills. I think you're sorely mistaken. Potions are made from ingredients. Take two terrarias and two water blooms from your inventory and throw them in the cauldron. To move ingredients, click and hold the mouse. Drag them to the cauldron and let go. Pay attention to the alchemy map on the laboratory wall. It shows you the path the ingredients create once they are added to the cauldron. What? Okay. Oh! Oh! Interesting. Okay, sorry, I'm reading the description of the ingredients. <laughs> Seems to have something to do with water. Hmm, go figure. All right, so we need both of them. Oh, just throw it right in there. Oh. How you throw them in determines your path. So I wonder if I'd put it in in a different way if we would have gone a different path. That's an interesting spin on a game. After adding ingredients, you can stir the pot. <laughs> stir the potion. Stirring the potion advances, advances the potion icon down the path divided by the ingredients. Use the spoon to stir. Click and hold the mouse and move the spoon back and forth until the potion icon on the map reaches the desired position. Okay, so the ingredients lay down the path and using the spoon to stir, you actually go down that path. Stirring allows the potion icon to collect experience points. Accumulating experience lets you level up but has no effect on the current potion. have a talent point. Awesome. Now the potion icon is touching an unknown effect. Must be the question mark. Okay. To add, to find out what the effect does, you need to add it to the current potion. To add the effect to the potion, you need to bring the water in the cauldron to a boil. Use the bellows to blow on the coals and heat the cauldron to the desired temperature. Take the bellows by the handle and continue blowing on the coals until there is an explosion over the cauldron. We're encouraging explosions. Okay, interesting. Okay, so there's... Oh, well that was fast. Perfect! <laughs> explosions are good! <laughs> You've added a new effect to the potion. Healing! Oh, that's awesome. Finish making the potion. Press finish potion. 
Bubble, bubble. A mortar and pestle are an alchemist's best friends. You can use the mortar and pestle to grind up practically any ingredients and unlock their potential. This helps you create the same potion using fewer ingredients. Okay, so more condensed version of it. Try to create the same potion using just one terraria and one water balloon. Take terraria from your inventory, place it in the mortar, and grind it up with the pestle until it turns to mush. The more you grind an ingredient, the, long, the longer the path that ingredient will make on the alchemy map once it is added to the cold. Um, okay, where's my water balloon now? Uh-oh. So we want to put that in here. I have a feeling this is going to be satisfying. Uh-oh. I'm making a mess. I guess I need to be careful. Can you keep going? Nope, but I can keep making a mess. <laughs> I better stop. <laughs> Add ground terraria to the cauldron. Completely grind the water balloon using the mortar and pestle. Mush, mush, mush. Okay, add the ground water balloon to the cauldron. Done. Stir the potion using the spoon. Can I actually lift the spoon? Oh, you can. That, that's a big spoon. Alright. Heat the potion using the bellows. Excellent! You made the very same potion, but used half as many ingredients. Your first potion attempt won't always be the most optimal, so experiment and perfect it. If you're happy with the potion you made, save it in the recipe book. Then you can make that potion in the future with the click of a button. Save the recipe for your current potion. Press Save Recipe to save it. So this one hopefully is the one with less ingredients. Nicely done. Well, thank you. You have saved the recipe. Now finish making the potion. I wonder if you have to save the recipe before you finish the potion. If you do it the other way around, you lose the recipe. Unless, of course, you make it again. Is there a difference between the two? That's the one and one. And two. It doesn't look like it. That's a weak. That's weak. Okay. So they're comparable. You are the owner of a potion shop, and your task is not only to brew potions, but also to sell them to customers. A customer has arrived. Go to the shop. For moving between rooms, use the navigation buttons at the edge of each room the WASD keys or the arrow keys. To go to the shop, click the navigation button on the left or press the A key or the left arrow key. Okay, so I'm assuming it's this. Aha! Every day, people from all over town and even from other towns will stop in to buy various magic potions. Your job is to brew potions in the laboratory and sell them to customers. Many potions must be crude, crude, oh my goodness, brewed for a specific purpose, but it's still a good idea to keep a few of the most popular potions on hand just in case. If a customer likes a potion, it will be clear from their reaction. That, that's a happy face? Or are they just so amazed by the potion making? Alright. Offer a potion for sale. Take it from your inventory and place it on the right side of the scale. Good afternoon. Yesterday at a friend's party, I burned my tongue on some hot soup. Now I can't taste a thing and I'm a brewer. I need to be able to check the quality of my product. My tongue is useless now. Do you have a healing tincture of some kind? Okay. So since these are the same, I wonder if there's a difference in price though. There we go. The amount of gold you will... <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. Let's try this again. The amount of gold you will receive from selling a potion is shown in the sell button. Click the sell button to sell the potion. I'll buy this potion, but I won't pay very much. Well, I guess at least he's warning us. Sold. Let's see, I have money and something and something. 
the customer needs this kind of potion. Offer the potion for sale by playing scene in on the scale. Okay, I don't think that one's changed. My husband has been ill for some time now, but recently he got even worse. Now he can't even get up. He has a fever and sweats. Do you have any medicine for my poor husband? Let's see if this works. Okay. Haggling. Oh, let's haggle with the poor lady with the sick husband. Oh, no. To make more money on a potion, you can try haggling. Successful haggling could significantly increase the price of a potion, but unsuccessful haggling could do the opposite. Make it drop. You start haggling, click haggle. I am so bad at haggling. In any game, this is not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. But okay, here we go. Is this a mini game? Press haggle. When the arrow is inside the golden bonus area to improve the terms of the deal, Hitting the bonus areas tips the scale in your favor, but missing them does the opposite. The scale will also gradually tip out of your favor once haggling begins. So you start out at a deficit already. Oh no. The bonus areas will shrink and get harder and harder to hit each time. So don't haggle for too long. To end haggling and set the terms of the deal, get the arrow in one of the green bonus areas on the sides. Okay. What's all this for? I don't know what these are. I'm assuming this is extra healing. So let's click on that. Oh. Oops. How much healing can we get for? Let's get all the healing. Okay, this is definitely not going in my favor. It's going down. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> this didn't help me any. Lack of suitable potions. Yeah, our inventory is empty. You will often not have a ready-made potion for certain customers. That's okay. You can always go back to the laboratory and make the potion they need. There is no time limit. Hallelujah. So you can focus on the recipe. The client will not leave. I know time limits give um, challenges sometimes, which people enjoy. Me, they just stress me out. So. <laughs> I'm so glad this doesn't have a time limit. All right. What do you need? Enchanted garden. Go to the garden to gather ingredients for the potion. It is located to the right of the laboratory. Hello, mice have infested my hut even though I have a cat. The cat just lies on the cabinets and watches the mice do whatever they please. So I need a vial of rat poison. It'll be easier to poison those rodents than wait for the stupid cat's help. Well, perhaps they have a strategy. You never know. Okay, so we need to go to the garden. Oh, this is cool. The Enchanted Garden is one of the alchemist's main sources for ingredients. Every day new ingredients will grow in the garden. Don't forget to pick them from time to time. Click on the ingredients to gather them. A terraria and a fire bell. Go to the laboratory to create a new potion. Good. I want to check in the tree. Darn it. Okay. Customer needs poison, which means you need to create a potion with the poison effect. You will have to look for most of the effects on your own throughout the map, but you will remember from your alchemy lessons that such a potion can be made from one terraria and one fireball. I'm assuming maybe it's down here? So that takes me down there. Where does this take me? Oh, that takes me to the left. That's not good. Um... So which way do I want to go? I wonder. Well, I think it's, it doesn't matter. It's going to take me wherever it takes me. I'm just along for the ride at this point. Smash, 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 smash. We good? Okay. Well, that's where you went. Okay. That's what I thought. It's going to take me over here. Okay. What? Uh oh. You're staining my pestle. Uh oh. I think I went too far. That's not good. I wasn't paying attention. I was having too much fun smashing. Okay, so we'll have to watch as we stir. Oh, no, we're actually supposed to go over there. Okay. It looks poisonous. Okay, 
save the recipe, finish the potion, return to the shop. There you go. Sell the potion. Yes, I am not haggling. <laughs> I'm a bad haggler. <laughs> Once the last customer leaves the shop, you can have a rest in your bedroom. It is located above the laboratory. Go to the bedroom to end the day. Oh, up top. Nice. Click on the bed. Nice little countryside. Ooh, there's a castle in the back. Can we go there? Check out the castle. End of tutorial. Oh, wow, that was short and sweet. Excellent. You have refreshed your alchemy knowledge and familiarized yourself with the alchemy equipment. In the attic next to the bed, you found a few ingredients and a ladle for water. This is your potion shop now, and you decide what to do next. Greet customers, chat, sell potions, haggle, and don't forget to gather ingredients from the enchanted garden and gradually explore the alchemy map. Good luck. So did I already? I already got that stuff. Ooh, but there's, there's a chest here. And our calendar. A nice view. Got the family there. Anything here? No? Okay. Go check out the garden. Oh, wow. Is that kind of stuff? Is it a thing? No? Do I need to, like, move branches aside or anything? Doesn't look like it. Okay. What was that? More water bloom. Ooh. Green mushrooms. Well, I clicked on that, but I didn't even pay attention to what it was. A mushroom. What do we do about these talent points and stuff? There's the fire bell. More terraria. What is this? Oh my, this is a lot, is what this is. Grab an ingredient from your inventory. Finish the chapter. So is this a quest list? Maybe? Oh, we have pages. Okay, no, nope. let's focus on chapter one. One chapter at a time. Here's our recipe book. Didn't we get another recipe, it said? I guess not. I thought it said that. I was wrong. The manual is in development and will be available in later versions of the game. Nice. Legendary! Ooh. Albedo. Albedo. Ooh, the Philosopher's Stone. Nice. Shop upgrades are also in development, if that is cool. Okay. Save and settings. What about our talent points? There we go. Oh, yay, I can level up my haggling. <laughs> Heaven knows I'm bad at it. Visibility radius. 5% more profitable. Bonus spawn chance. No, nope, I guess we'll just stop going. Wait, what? I thought I had three points. What happened? Oh, just two? I'm level three. I got two points. Okay, I think that's what that is. All right. Oh my goodness. The combinations are gonna be... Um, ridiculous. Let's see. How do I just start making... Where's my recipe book? Yeah. Well, I don't want to make 13 of them. I just want to make one. Can I do that? Okay, well... This is just all by itself. So I'm curious. Oh. Not enough. Is what that is. Okay. So we've done the water bloom and let's see. Oh, that takes me back. That's not good. Takes me up. Takes me down and over. Well, let's try this. This seems to take us along the path. Okay, so that, what is this thing? Oh, does that take you back to the start? Oh my goodness, there is so much to this game that I did not expect. Alrighty, let me throw my alert on here real quick. So I can, 
focus on what I need to do here. Alright. So, stir, stir, stir. Oh. Apparently the skulls are bad. I don't think I got a new one, though. I'm not sure if I got anything. Uh-oh. Did I mess up? I don't think I'm going to get anything. Okay, so maybe we need to add something else? That's not the right one to add. We don't want to go up there. I'm thinking we need to go over here. So that takes us to the right. Okay. So I guess I need some more water bloom. Hang on. Let me check the path again. What was it that took me back enough? That. So I can go over... I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to give it a try. Okay, so we got both of those. Let's throw that in there. And then I think we stir. Hold on. And then the fire bell would work too. Wind bloom. I don't think we've tried a wind bloom yet. Whoops. Okay, that's plenty. Well, I guess we can go ahead and do that, we just can't stir it that far. Okay, so, two left, oh, go back, just up, go back, there we go, aha, now I think we'll get one, there we go, ooh, frost, Oops. okay, wow, that <laughs> was definitely some experimenting, okay, so all that, <laughs> we got a frost potion, okay, we did start. Um, oh wow, which way do we go now? I guess we can go up. Oops, I want the pesto, please. Thank you. Pesto, pesto. Alright, toss you in. I'm gonna go ahead and stir a little bit so I can see where I'm going. Oh, I do not see a new one. Back to the left, down and around. I don't think we want to go through the skulls. Going through the skulls seems bad. Alright. Let's see what we get over here. Aha! I see a potion. I'm trying to get a potion. Can I throw another one of those in there? Yeah, why not? Just have it go the whole way. Go, toss it in, and what do we have? Ooh, light! Okay, save the recipe. Finish the potion. So, I think we want to make a healing potion. Can we throw two things in at once? Can you? Healing potion, which should already be saved. <laughs> I don't think we've used this one yet. I don't have any idea where this thing takes me. I need something that just takes me straight to the left. Okay, there we go. There's one there. Maybe I need another one. Possibly. I have a feeling I'm about to make a big bada boom. Stir, stir, stir. Aha. Alright. And we get a fire potion. Nice. I think we've still got one more we need to get, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> Alright. 
figure out. I'll save the potions here. I want to make one of these. So how do I just make one? Oh, well, boom. There you go. So I think I've made one of everything. I'm trying to see here. I don't know if I've made... I'm used to making, knowing how to make all the different combinations from ingredients, but with the map, it completely changes everything up. That's that one. Okay, back here. Yes. All right. Hmm, I don't know if I should make, well, I can always make more. So we've got one of each, right? We opened up everything we could. Oh, wow. Check that off the list. Go to the shop. Sell potion, buy something from a merchant. We have a basement. Go to the bedroom. We have a basement. Where's the basement? Ooh. The basement's in bad shape. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Find a merchant who can sell you parts for a new alchemy machine. Okay. For the bedroom. Haha. <laughs> Achievements. Alright, start a new day, go to the shop, sell a potion. I'm not sure where I find a merchant. Maybe they show up in the shop? Oh, we have a line. Give me a healing potion, alchemist. The bandit shot me through the shoulder with an arrow yesterday. Oh no, your, your adventuring days are done, dude. Sorry. The wound isn't serious, but I can't lie around for a whole month. I need to get back to work soon. Is but a flesh wound. There we go. Good afternoon. We have trouble in our village. Invasive beetles have taken up in our wheat fields. They're eating our harvest and they're doing it fast. We need to poison them all. Our harvest is completely doomed. No, not the bread. There you go. Okay, so what is the star? The star's popularity. And then this is reputation. All right. I had some strange soup for lunch today, and now I don't feel so good. Oof. Do you have anything for a troubled gut? Ugh. No more gastronomic adventures. Um. I do not know if I have anything. That is a good question. Hmm. Maybe just a healing potion? I don't know. Can I move the map around? Kind of. So healing is down. How about we just play it safe and I just make a healing potion? I don't want to kill the guy. That would be bad. How about this? Okay. He wasn't unhappy with that choice. Hi! Are you the new alchemist? I'm the local herbalist. I gather plants and sell them. Want to see what I have for sale? I think I have something that might interest you. Show me. Ooh, what is this? Tangle. 33. How much money do I have? Um, how about we just go with one? Okay. Oh, wait. Do you sell anything besides herbs? I only sell what I know about. Flowers, herbs, roots, and various berries and fruit. You can buy other things from other merchants. Alright. Just check. There we go. I'll grab one. Aha. Goodness. We, we are doing well for just opening up. Apparently the area needed... An alchemist. All right. I need a strong and fast, oh my goodness, fast acting poison. I'd appreciate it if you saved your questions and kept our little deal a secret. Your silence will be generously rewarded, of course. Um, sorry. I'll have to pass. Your shop has become less popular. I'm aware. <laughs> That seemed, seemed a little sus, especially when he said not to ask and he wasn't telling. <laughs> That's 
Big red flag. Hello, I was summoned to deal with an ice elemental tormenting a mountain village. An ordinary sword is useless against elementals, but if you can give me a fire potion, I'll coat my blade with it and take the elemental down. Well, here you go. I just have it. Wow. That's a nice price. I wonder if I could give him a light potion. I'm not sure what it would do, but it would have been kind of funny if he thought to poison someone or something. <laughs> just lit off like a big light and it's like oh guess what i'm trying to do <laughs> whoops shed some light on the situation I, I wonder if that would have been an option what a coincidence man sent me to fight an elemental too but this one is a fire elemental he's gotten into the habit of strolling through the wheat fields lately and starting fires do you have anything that can cool him down there you go how's that Nobody wanted my light potion. I'm so sad. Are we good? I think we're good. All right. So, does anything grow at like night or something? I guess not. Okay. To bed. Yes. Snooze, snooze, snooze. Whoa. It's a fast moving moon. Hey! Chapter 1 is complete. Good job. You completed the chapter. With each new chapter, new visitors, order types, potion bases, merchants, and purcha purchasable items appear. Continue to complete the goals in the Alchemist Path to unlock the full potential of your alchemy equipment and learn all the secrets of the trade. Ooh. another point. So are all these... Okay, they are... Most of them are one, although we are heading down into the heavier costs. Let's go check the garden. Ooh, what is this? Uh-oh. Am I running out of room? Am I gonna have room for all this stuff? Oh, I do have some tangleweed. Nice. Okay, we already have that. Have some of that. That's new. Let me make sure I've got room for all this. Anything in here? No? This. It looks like something we should be able to use. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have room for everything. Okay, we do. I was worried I was running out of inventory space. Okay. Now where do we go? Okay, that takes us all the way to the left. Oh my goodness, that is a roller coaster ride. That's a slam dunk. This has got some interesting pathways, I have to say. Okay. What is this? Thick and hot, sometimes added to food for a touch of spice. Wet and slippery. Does this mushroom have a shadow? Indeed it does. Ooh, a shadow chanterelle. A weird shroom. Yeah, I can see the path is pretty weird. Looks very strange. Is it even a mushroom? I do not know. Sulfur shell. Oh my. Okay, well, which direction do we go? Now this means I've already grabbed these, right? I think so. If we go over there and then go up that way and dodge all the skulls and bones. Alright. Stir, stir, stir. There we go. Now. There. That's I have no idea what I'm going to get. Absolutely none. this? We got, we know this is bad. What is this? Okay, so now we need something to the right. Is there anything we haven't used yet that 
will take us to the right. I guess we could go on the roller coaster ride. Why not? Oh my. Whee! Okay. I'm going to hit those, come back around, and stay right there. What did we get? Ooh, mana potion. Nice. All right. Some of these are going to be interesting to navigate. Let's see if we can go to the left. My poor potions are going to be all dizzy and discombobulated by the time I'm done with them. Oh man, there's nothing down here. Okay. Um. Hmm. Now they're legal. Yes, no. So we go back to the left. Probably gives you guys an idea what I'm like in the kitchen. Okay, I don't think we want to end up in there. I'm going to do that just to see what it does. You know what the skull and crossbones does? Is this like a teleport or something? I guess it doesn't do anything. Weird. Okay, not a problem. We don't want to go down there. Definitely don't want to go over there. Hmm. I'm going to be awful because I'm going to want to get all these little books. How many ingredients can we have in a potion? Is there such a thing as too many? I guess I'll find out, won't I? Huh. What is everything? Hiding from me. I'm going to be quite the potion here. Still nothing. Zip us through there. Not really. Well, I guess we can go back up. There we go. Still no potions to be found. What am I missing? That's one there. Definitely doesn't seem to be much over here. I'm gonna go through my whole supply. Is either gonna be the best ingredient ever or I'm just gonna blow up my lab. Hmm. Not sure I'm supposed to be here. Uh oh. What does that mean? Awesome. Oh, might help if I put the ingredient in. Wow, they are hiding. Five million fire bells. Well, at this point, I really want to find something. make this worth it. Well, at least I got another talent, but I don't think there's anything here. Oh, I can zoom out. Nice. That's helpful. Oh my goodness. I am like so far and there's just nothing here. Ugh. Experimentation has 
gotten away from me, unfortunately. Hmm. Who knows how much money I'm out on all these ingredients. So the question is, or do I keep going? Oh, 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 I think there's one down here. Okay, let's see if we can get to it. But I think we're gonna have to do this again. I'm like making a jalapeno pepper or something here. Ghost pepper, something like that. I'm gonna be able to slide down there. Maybe. me oh no oh that's oh okay well that that's what happens there Ooh, that's a nice little turn I don't know what this potion is gonna be this potion is gonna be crazy it either is going to kill someone or make them immortal all right so we got that so now I need no I don't want to go that way I wanted to go back. Oh, okay. Why not? More firebell. This is definitely going to be a spicy and meatball. Wait a second. Did I see that change? Oh, the closer you are to the outline, the better it is. Alright. Okay. I don't even know if this is going to... That's funny. I can't save it though. Delete an old recipe. Okay. I don't know that there's anything I can delete. How do I get a bigger recipe book? Can I get a bigger recipe book? Huh. I guess I'll just finish it. Okay. Well, that was painful. Let me see. Which way do we need to go now? Or should we just make more stuff? Maybe we should just play it safe since I spent a lot of money on that. Okay, so let's get the healing potion. And people seem to have... Uh-oh. I don't have enough of something. I have a light potion. Let me get a fire potion. I already have a man. Okay, and we'll see what else we can get. So sometimes experimenting rewards you, and sometimes it does not. Oh, they get another point? Awesome. Okay. Head back and uh, calm down here a little bit. <laughs> okay, Let's see if we can help anybody. Greetings! I recently went fishing at a lake in the forest. I cast my line out and immediately got a bite. I reeled it in and tried to get it off the hook, but that fish had some teeth. It bit me on the palm and flopped back in the water. Now my hand is all swollen. How can I fish now? Well, I have a healing potion for you. I finished digging up stumps on my field and was planning to burn them, fertilize the soil with ash. But then, as luck would have it, it started raining today, and all the stumps got soaked. I need to plow the field this week. Help me out. Um, you want a fire potion? That doesn't seem like a good idea, but we'll give it a try. I have so many cares and worries every day. I wash, cook, shop, and look after the children. I can spend all day on my feet and not sit down to rest once. Because of that, my feet are covered in calluses and corns. Perhaps you have a remedy for them. I'm not sure, but when in doubt, I brew a healing potion. That's kind of my panacea for right now. Alright. Oh, well, hello. It's nice to see new faces in these parts. I suppose you're the new alchemist. Wonderful. I'm the local mushroomer. 
If you're an alchemist, then you must know quality ingredients when you see them. I have a few mushrooms here. Will you take a look? Do you ever sell anything besides mushrooms? Nope, only mushrooms, but I have the best. Okay, no way to fix the machine in the basement just yet. What do you have? I found that one. Wow, those are expensive. Dryad Saddle. I don't know that I've had that one. Not sure about that one either. How much money do I have? Oh, I've been looking at the wrong amount. I've been looking over here thinking I had 300 gold every time. I was wondering how I got back to 300 gold without a problem. Would you like to buy my light potion? Four and a half gold? Hmm. All right. Nice doing business with you. Hello. A very strange guest to our, came to our hotel. He says he has a great fear of fire and even refuses to you can't use candles. However, he still demands light in his room. Do you have anything that can replace candles? I do. Three robbers attacked me yesterday. They wanted my money but couldn't find any, so they gave me a good beating instead. But I did have money on me. I just hid it in a safe place. Though now I have to spend the money on a healing potion. My whole body aches. Alright, here you go. Well, hello. I heard there was a new alchemist in town, so I came to say hi. I'm the local sorceress. Or witch, if you like. That's what the lo locals call me. Anyway, I just... I didn't just come in out of curiosity. Do you happen to carry poison in your shop? May I ask you why you need the poison? Sometimes our witch, witch recipes call for poison and human blood. But I'll get that myself somehow. Laps. Hmm. Well, this is probably not going to help my business out too much, but yeah, sorry. All right, I think we are done for the day. Oh, hang on, I want to check the achievements. How do we do? Okay, chapter one's all done. Wow, I even got something in chapter three and chapter four. Nice. Create a potion with two different effects? How do you do that? Haggle for a better deal. Okay, I need to do that. Potion of lightning, explosion, fast growth, and sleep. Reach up. Popularity level of four. What did you do here? Collect major experience. Create a potion of libido. Oh, what can I say? I'm ahead of my time. There we go. say it rained, so maybe that's why. Nothing new? No? I think we got everything. I never know if something's hiding or not. You never know. Alright. So... We still need to find somehow we need to get down in this direction.
I guess we could do a potion level two. Replace it with potion level one. Can we do that? How do I remove it? Okay, remove that one. And then... I don't think we know what it is just yet, so let's do that. A potion of healing. Okay, so we've got that. Well, that was a little bit of a squirrel, but that's okay. I guess I couldn't really afford to do that, but I'll give it a try. Okay, this time I'm going to try it this way. And throw everything in all at once. Let's see what happens. Whoop. Oh. Okay, now we're gonna stir, see what that gets us. Ooh, there's something. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to get back. The left to the left. It's not the left. Okay. Which we're already in there. And then anything else help us out? No, it will not. Okay. The fire bell it is. Hopefully we get a level two. Uh oh. Oh, there's another one over there. No, I think I have something that can take me up. Just straight up. There we go. Just throw another window in there. Get this level two then. Ah! Right. Missed it. Just take me back down. Nope, takes me up. Okay. Nope. Stop before I mess it up again. So what do we got? Fast growth. That's what we needed. We got poison. Hmm. So I'm probably going to use the healing potion a lot, so I'm gonna leave that on there. Maybe the poison? I don't think anybody's asked for this one yet. Alright, hang on. Let me check. That's close by. So those maybe aren't too hard to get to. Hmm. Don't know if I should keep it or not. I guess we won't. Okay. So let's see if we can go down the other way now. Stir, stir, stir. And then we need to go back to the left. Whoops. I could possibly update my poison to anything that takes me back over to the left a little bit. I don't know if that'll take me over left. Well, then we're going to completely lose our track. Yeah. Focus on the task at hand. There we go. We need something to take us. Back down further. That takes to the right. So you kind of need these three, and then wind blooms take you up. So those, these are kind of the four that you really need on you all the time. Right. Push you up a little more. Try to figure out how to get over there. <laughs> that one kind of takes us, but not really. Maybe this one's our best bet. It's going to take us way off the beaten path, but we are not going to go all the way over there. So, stir, 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 stir. Okay. Thank you, little ticket. I really appreciate it. There we go. Oh, no luck. Alright, what did we get? Stone skin! I don't think that's what we wanted. 
But we have a stone skin now. Okay. So we got that. I think that was... Lightning, explosion, and sleep. Focus. Focus, focus, focus. That was way too much fun. Alright. Let's see what we open up over here. Perfect. Alright. Oh my goodness. I'm subconsciously doing that now just because it's too much fun. sleep. And that's always a good thing. All right, let's get the shop going. Oh, uh oh, am I in trouble? Hello, I see you recently opened. I am also an alchemist, but I'm just passing through town. I'm collecting some ingredients and selling alchemy equipment. Yay, so I decided to drop in. I'm running light right now and only have enchanted paper with me, but if you need to expand your recipe book, you can buy a couple of sheets. Yes, please. The sheets in the recipe book are made of special enchanted paper. The enchantment slows down the paper's aging and allows you to add or edit existing recipes. You can even completely erase an old recipe and write a new one instead. In addition, sheets of enchanted paper can be conveniently bound into the recipe book, allowing you to expand it almost indefinitely. Yes! Ultimate inventory space. Okay. Ow. Oh my goodness. How many recipes does one sheet of enchanted paper that can easily be pasted in the recipe book? Thanks to a special enchantment, you can clear the page at any time, write down another recipe, or make edits to the old one. Each sheet of enchanted paper unlocks one new recipe slot in the recipe book. Oh, and that's 180 coins. Ouch. Um, good no? I don't think I can afford that. And I'm sad. Greetings! I had a brilliant idea yesterday. Ah, it's the brewer. To brew a beer that warms your bones, even on the coldest days. People would pay a pretty penny for it in the northern provinces. The recipe is almost ready, but for the beer to always be warm, I need something like liquid fire. I do. Hopefully I've still got that pasted. Oh no! I can't brew it. I got some light. You want some light? I don't know if that would be considered liquid fire or not. I mean, it does have... We can try it. Nope, it's not what he wanted. Well, I'm afraid I don't have it then. I'm sorry. How about this? No? Nope. Okay, wrong kind of fire. Gotcha. What else do you add to your beer? Actually, the recipe for my beer is a big secret. All I can say is I add five types of fiery pepper to this one. Oh my. Fiery pepper. Um. I'm afraid I don't have what you need, sir. I'm sorry. Please help. My son was playing with friends in the forest and twisted his ankle, jumping from a tree. Please help heal my little boy's leg. Well, I do have a potion. A potion of healing. 
Children who wander into the forest to play by the lake have started going missing of late. The villagers are certain it's a merman. I've been asked to deal with the beast. I need to reinforce my sword to defeat this scum. I heard merman flee at the sound of thunder. Man, I don't have that. I'm gonna put him to sleep? I also have poison. I don't think we want him to grow. That would not be good. Poison? No, I don't have a thunder potion. I have not been able to find it. I'm not doing so hot today. Need any herbs? Who else do you sell herbs to? A lot of people need herbs in town. Some use them as seasoning, others for medicinal purposes, and brewers often using them to brew new kinds of beer. What in the world is this thing? A hairy banana. Now why can't I buy that? Ice fruit? Oh my. I think we're doing okay. Wait, did I go through all my fire bell? That's not gonna be good. You can try this one. These are a little too expensive for my taste. Alright. there. I was heading to my unit's rendezvous point when I saw your shop. I thought I'd stop in and buy a potion for our battle mage. He's been complaining recently that his magical powers have waned. I heard there was a potion to help mages to recover. Do you have one? I do have one. Awesome. A massive ant hill appeared near my house and now ants are everywhere. On the floor, on the walls, on the ceiling, even in the food, it's unbearable. I need something to get rid of those annoying bugs fast. You can you sleep? That's a big no. We don't want them to grow faster. Scare them off with the light? Nope, no luck there. Okay. Poison? Um. Yeah, I don't think that's a very good option either. We'll see. Be a friend and give me a healing remedy on the stronger side. So. <coughs> oh. Excuse me. Some guys and I were escorting a trade caravan yesterday, and then we got attacked by bandits. I was stabbed with a knife and fell out of the cart onto the road. I'm lucky to be alive. Now I need to recover and catch up with the caravan. I have a higher level of healing potion, which I can't make. Well, now I'm sad. This has not been a great day. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, let us start a new day. And unfortunately, this means we have to end the day. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. It is Potion Craft. If you'd like to check it out for yourself, I am playing it on Steam. Uh, interesting little twist on how to find the recipes. I like it. Um, makes you think. And there's some strategy to it, too. And as you can see, exploring the map may not be one of the greatest strategies in the beginning. I'm not sure. Time will tell. It seems to have affected my sales uh, for the next day, and uh, I'm out of inventory, so that's definitely put a hurting on me for just some of the basic potions that we have, although the Thunder Potion I have not been able to find yet, but I am sure we'll be able to find that soon. Now that I have an idea, I need to stay a little bit closer to home and slowly work my way out instead of just heading straight in a direction. Hey, you live and you learn. If you missed any part of this video, like to check it out, my link is in the chat for the YouTube channel. I uh, post all my videos there every day right after the stream. Or you can check out any of my other videos if you have some extra time on your hands or want to catch up with a series. For some reason, I'm thinking there's something else wanted to tell you guys, but it has completely slipped my mind right now. I probably remember it after I end the stream. That's normally how that works. If I remember it and think it's really important, I will 
post it on my Twitter page, so check that out just in case. I'm guessing it's not hugely important since I can't remember it for the life of me right now. <laughs> One of those days. Please remember, you are loved and you are not alone. Come hang out with me anytime I am live and you have a chance. And let's get to know each other and share our love for games. And I'd love to be able to encourage you in whatever you have going on in your neck of the woods. Thank you again for joining me. New journeys wait in the next video. I hope to see you there. Take care.